Hi, my name is Suba Gerwal and I'm a math expert. And today we're going to go over what is an ordinal scale of measurement versus a ratio scale of measurement. So an ordinal is going to give you something that's rank. So things in relationship to another. For example, first, second, third, or sometimes satisfaction surveys like on a scale of 1 to 10 tell us how satisfi satisfied you were with our popcorn stand, something like that. Something where ranking is involved, or a good way to remember that, is order. Now a ratio scale of measurement is different. It's kind of used a lot in science, and it's something that has an equality of units and an absolute zero. So what equality of units means is that all of the units are the same. So for example, on a ruler, that's something that has an equality of units because these guys are all going to be the same. Absolute zero means that there's a zero that it cannot be less than. So an example of this measurement would be weight. So how much someone weighs in pounds? I mean, no one weighs negative pounds. There's an absolute zero there. So that's kind of what that means, so something like pounds, something like distance, like you can't go, excluding directional components, you can't travel a negative distance. And those are the two qualifications you would need for a ratio measurement, and that's what a normal measurement is. And my name is Sue Bergerwald, and thank you for taking an interest in math.